Hello everybody, I'm Nate and welcome to Data Talks. Um, unlike the normal sort of teaching that I've, I've generally been doing where I've crafted my own materials uh, and I basically sort of go through the materials and sort of teach you something new, uh, this time I'm trying something different. Um, there's some really awesome uh, pandas exercises here at uh, Gwip Samora's library. It's got 2,700 stars, so it's like really good. Uh, and some of my students have actually used this before, so I, so I kind of know that it's pretty good, but I've never really gone through any of this myself. Um, so I thought it would be fun to just sort of go through uh, these exercises together um, and just, just go through them. So this is my absolute first time ever, ever sort of looking at most of these exercises. Um, I'll have to Google some things here or there, but you'll kind of see like a legitimate data scientist do these exercises and it might help. I don't know. Uh, just seeing the solutions themselves can sometimes be like, how in God's name did you come to that? So maybe just watching someone might be helpful. I, I don't know. It would help me. Um, so anyways, uh, that's really the plan for this. It's just pandas exercises. Um, I've gone ahead and I've made a, a pandas tutorial, which if you've not seen, you can go ahead and check that out. It's a tutorial. I think it's actually really nice. Uh, it's called an opinionated guide to pandas. And it, um, I think it's a little bit better than most tutorials. Uh, I'm not going to explain it here, but you know, check it out. Um, so anyways, we're just going to go through these pandas exercises. So first step, I want to go ahead and walk you through uh, cloning this repository and getting all the stuff you need. So click over here at clone and download. Just go ahead and copy it. Uh, head over to your uh, favorite terminal. Excuse me. Um, so I got mine here. I'm just going to go ahead and clone it to the desktop. So I'll just get clone. Just copy that. And it goes ahead and it clones the pandas exercises. Um, okay. So yeah, it's got it's got a lot of stuff in there. So uh, we can we can kind of check it out a little bit. So it's got a lot of these notebooks. I think some of these notebooks actually have data inside of them. So let me just check. No, this one doesn't. This one doesn't. Again, I am not looking at it. Okay, yeah, maybe these guys don't have data inside of them, uh, which is nice. So first time sort of seeing all of this. What I will say is I have tried to install this stuff here. Uh, so what we're going to do is virtual uh, env. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with virtual env, uh, please go ahead and uh, check out Hitchhiker's Guide to Python. I'll, I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description. I've installed this. I've, I've done this sort of installation stuff in lots of my videos. I'll link one up here as well. So let's virtual env. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, select the version of Python we want to do. We want to do Python 3 since that's basically what you always want to do um, uh, unless you're running some legacy code. Let's go ahead and sort of slap it in the env directory. Um, we'll just take a moment to sort of set up. Um, there it goes. Uh, we'll go ahead and activate it. Uh, source env and activate. That's pretty simple. Uh, nothing crazy there. Go ahead and clear. Now, I would say, so normally what we go ahead and do is we go ahead and pip install dash r requirements.txt. This throws lots of errors for me. I, I think the versions in requirements.txt is, is wrong or something in this repository. I'm not super sure. So we're just, we're just going to go ahead and install it all by hand. So we'll need pandas. Uh, we'll need matplotlib. We'll need uh, seaborn, which I've done a tutorial on. You can check it out up here. Uh, and numpy. So we just go ahead and pip install these things. Uh, right. So Again, I'm just going to leave this in so you know that I'm just doing this off the cuff. Uh, so pip install, so not pip pandas. So if you guys like this uh, type of video uh, where I go over other people's stuff, um, I'm, I'm totally down with doing this. Honestly, it's less work for me. Uh, so that's, that's always nice. Uh, and then we just go ahead and ipython uh, note uh, book. Um, oh, yes, of course. And we need to pip install ipython. Uh, install ipython uh, all. I'm just. I'm honestly just going to leave this here. Uh, quite quite honestly, I, I could sort of show you the the non messy version of this, but I think that just showing you that I am just going to do this live is 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 what you want. Uh, I install ipython all. I know it's. Uh, you probably don't need to do that. You could probably just install ipython notebook, but it takes like a couple of seconds. It doesn't take too much space. So. So now we can just ipython uh, notebook, and then ta-da, this will go ahead and open it here. Uh, we're going to go through this just as you'd expect, starting with getting to know your data and starting with Chipotle. So get hungry. Okay, thanks, and I'll see you next time uh, over at Data Talks. Bye.